What's up guys? I'm gonna go ahead sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and start off this video by saying sorry that we have not made a video in a long time. We've been at the beach and we've been doing cross country and we bought two new animals and we're gonna be showing them to y'all today. So today we're gonna be talking about our two leopard geckos. Let me take off the top. This is about a 15, well, yeah, about a 10 gallon tank. And you're probably wondering what's a leopard gecko. Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Let's move all this. Oh, well, there's one of them. This is the hypomelanistic morph. The reason why they're called a leopard gecko, because if you look closely, you can see all the spots that they have along their back. And uh, that's why they're called a leopard gecko. And a cool fact about them actually is they store fat in their tail so if you got to go on a trip and like let's say to the beach like i said they'll be fine they'll eat off that fat while you're gone and that's stored in their tail see for example you see how their tail is fat yeah right now we think she's a girl um but that's one of them her name is snowflake um now we're going to show you the our other one. She ain't going to like She's not going to be happy. You got to bump her off. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to get her off so I can show you all the other one that's under the log. Go ahead and screw away. Okay. This. Oh, there he is. This is Murray. He's uh, my leopard gecko. Um, he is a tangerine with a little bit of tornado morph in him if you can see like those oh. the the dark orange scattered around him is what you'd call a tornado morph um yeah the, he's the same he they also surf out in their sh um in their tail he but there's all different d kinds of colors of leopard geckos there's all different kinds of color morphs uh, some well, he just jumped into his food bowl. Something that you're able to feed them. We'll talk about the enclosure in a minute. Well, something the things you're able to feed them is. Um, I, we usually feed them. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, here, oh, they here are. they are. We usually feed them mealworms. Here. And there are some dead dubias in there. Oh, uh, we we usually feed them mealworms. That has lots of protein in them. And uh, crickets is definitely one of them. We put a lot of calcium on them. Yeah. Oh, oh look, there's a doobie in there. He's about to get it. Well, he might get it, but let's see. Let's see if he gets this doobie. That's one of the lot. Oh, let's see if he gets it. Oh, oh nice. nice. He got it. Oh, uh, there's one example of how they eat. You know, they'll, they'll kind of walk slowly up to it and they'll snatch it up. Their teeth are like sandpaper for gripping. So it doesn't really hurt when if you ever got bit. It, it kind of feels like getting scraped by a brick just a little bit. But um, I think that's a, enough for the leopard geckos right now. Uh, let's talk about the cage setup. So what we have is where... Oh, no, 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 move. Launch out right into the... There we go. Uh, what we have for them is, let me get the light. We have a log right here. This is this would be their warm hide. Anytime they wanted to warm up, uh, they would go in here because we have a heat pad under here. We also have a uh, uh, we have a this right here. We have a thermostat to keep the temperature the uh, where it needs to be. Right now we have it set to about 90 degrees. So that's pretty warm for them. That's as warm as you need it, like, set. And, um, and the reason why we have paper towel on the ground instead of bedding is because it's not good if they eat something like aspen or sand or coconut fiber. I do not recommend if you ever got a leopard gecko using sand because that is, that, that is they just don't, terrible for that, them. Yeah. Coconut fiber is a maybe. Petco and PetSmart, they will tell you to use sand. Do not. Sometimes. Um, we got both of these from Petco. Um, 
we have plants to keep them uh, hidden if they wanted to. And what we did for this, we got a tub or container, and we filled it up with moss. Uh, the reason why we did this is to be a humidity hide. If they wanted to get some humidity, they would crawl up in here and uh, just relax. Now, uh, I want to talk about the bowls. You're probably wondering, we have the water dish as usual. And this bowl is a little different than uh, others. You say, what we have in there is calcium. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what calcium is. It helps their bones. Leopard geckos especially need calcium. Because if you don't, sometimes they can get metabolic bone disease. And it's where their bones get all messed up and grow in the wrong position. Yeah, it's it's not fun. Um, When they shed, they'll eat their shed. Um, that's really good for it's them. It's very nutritious. Uh, but there, you don't need any, you don't need a heat lamp like this. You don't need any special lighting. This we is just, a UVB. Yeah, we have an LED light. They, uh, you still do need an LED light to help get some uh, vitamin vitamin C, I think. Yeah, vitamin, no, vitamin A. Yeah, vitamin A from because this puts off sunlight to also help also helps them. Um. Oh, right, the paper towel. Just. Uh, like it, it also keeps it humid in here. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you can see where they've been walking around at night. They have a ton of calcium on the ground. And this might be a little gross, but, um, leopard geckos choose a spot in their cage where they like to poop. Yep. It's nature. They'll do it. So, if you don't like, if you, if, if you want a pet, you gotta be expecting some of that. Um, you can just get like a 10 gallon tank. Like yeah. this, uh, when they get to grown-ups, I would suggest a 20-gallon. And if you're, when you're uh, setting up the cage, you're always able to use things like, give me a second. Dang it. Here we go. You're always able to use things like uh, this stick so they can climb around. Uh, we didn't put it in there because they already, they already have enough places to climb on the plant and the log. And this took up a little bit of room. Well, I might add it in the future or right now. Um, hold on, everybody, we're making a video. Sorry, that's our sister. Um, yeah, I think that concludes the video. Also, we have this tagged kind of like as a bush. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I think that just about does it. Males, uh, I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, um, males do get a little bit bigger than females. And males tend to be a little less active than females are. So if you want a leopard gecko that's a little bit easier to hold, then I would consider getting a male. But you can't really tell if a, if a leopard gecko is a male or female onto it's an adult. Let me pull out my leopard gecko one more time to get a look. Also, males have bigger heads and tails. Yeah. So when you can really only tell when, when they're, they're babies, adults. they really like to have company with other geckos uh, as the same type. But uh, something that all lizards do if they're really stressed is they will drop their tail. If they're really stressed and you're grabbing their tail and pulling at them and squeezing them, they will drop their tail. Um, it's okay because it'll grow back in about six months. He likes to jump off my hand a lot. It'll grow back eventually, but it's still not a very good thing to do, especially for leopard geckos because they need that tail to store fat. and It also grows back. Uh, smaller and different. Usually, yeah, usually it'll grow back a little smaller or um, a little, or the colors will be different. Or sometimes it'll try to grow in another position. Yeah, it'll, it'll try to grow in a different direction and you, but, don't, you don't really want to deal with any of that. But it's okay if it does happen. Well, I think that pretty much concludes the video. Uh, we think, we think that his name is Murray. Well, this is his name. 
or this from, is my gecko's name from Stranger Things. Yep. Yeah. Uh, definitely go check that out. Murray, um, we think he's a male, and we think Snowflake is a girl. Now, if if they were both male and female, we would definitely want them to lay eggs, and it would make a really cool color morph. And if they were to lay eggs, they would probably lay it in the humidity hide. Oh uh, yeah, because that's what they where they live. They'll need that. Uh, it helps keep the eggs uh, healthy. Um, uh, something cool that they'll do. They'll lick the cage just randomly sometimes. Uh, to see that's how they tell if something's alive or not. Or it's kind of like their tongue or fingers. That's how they also feel things. Yeah. That's uh. So if you're holding them and they lick you. The don't be surprised because they're just seeing if you're alive or an object. Um. Yeah, like I said, they do. They do need belly heat, like a heat a heat pad under the cage. They don't need a heat lamp. They I do prefer. They do need an LED. Um. Yeah, like I said, they have all different kinds of color morphs, and I think that pretty much concludes the video well we've got to go to uh, cross-country practice and we will definitely like make more videos like this soon this is the reptile twins see ya